The city of Lagos is undisputably the commercial hub in Nigeria at the moment. The movement of goods and services from one location to another has always been a challenge for majority of Lagos residents. Successive governments have had to come up with initiatives to ameliorate the traffic situation. The rehabilitation of the Nigerian railways has come as a relief and has been embraced by Lagos residents as there is a significant increase in the number of commuters who now patronize the services of the railways. Right behind me you can see passengers coming into the train. Obviously, people are moving from one place to another via the trains in Lagos. It's a beautiful day. It's a new dawn. I haven't left the shore of this country, outside the country. I've entered trains, and what I'm seeing here today can compare favorably with what you see elsewhere. This is actually the first class aspect of it. Man, it's very fantastic. I really love it. I'm actually very impressed. The train service is, is economical and it is very safe also. So I believe that um, with the launch, we'll see a lot of the congestions on our roads and um, a lot of free movement. A lot of free movement with our goods and services, which is a priority. It doesn't have any uh, uh, breakdown on the road. If we run a train of, say, 15 coaches, that will be 89 times 15. Run that from Ido to Ijoko. How many people have you moved in one train? How many buses are you going to need to move those same number of people by road? Same thing with our petroleum tankers. The capacity is 44,000 liters. A road truck is 33,000 liters. If we run a train from Lagos to, say, uh, Kanu, and we use 20 tank wagons, that would be 44,000 times 20 wagons. How many trucks will be off the road? The narrow gauge lines are the only available mediums in Lagos for now. The narrow gauge is 1067 mm, while the standard gauge is 1435 mm. What it means is what? The standard gauge is wider, and of course, anytime you have a wider track, it relates with what? Speed. Higher speed. It comes with the option of executive and economic coaches at a price passengers say is fair. Like me now, my office sent me to Zaria to do something. So what we call it workshop. So when I calculate the transport by air or by road, so I now saw this one is the less. So I say now, let me follow the less. That is very good. The place is all air conditioned. Passengers are coming in seated comfortably. The environment is clean, and you can we can only get better. This is this is a DMU standard gauge. We hit the ground running, obviously. So I want to talk to some passengers and find out what they think of this DMU and what they expect from the standard gauge. This is wonderful. In fact, uh, I think uh, there is r real change. And I love it. Though the rehabilitation exercise and facelift given to the Nigerian railways have been highly commended, passengers insist that there is still room for improvement in the services being rendered to boost train travels in Lagos. You know, in those days, it used to take up to three days from Kano to Lagos. Now, under 48 hours, you travel from Kano to Lagos. But the unfortunate thing is that the toilets are not functioning. There's none of it that doesn't have a toilet, a functional toilet. Each coach has four toilets. There's two at each end of the coach. But it's not the same principle with the one on the first class, which is the same with the standard gauge. And this place can sustain itself, you know. People will use them. People will be encouraged to use it. They pay and use the place. It will generate revenue. It will create employment. With the flag off of the standard gauge rail lines by President Muhammad Buhari and the federal government's resolve to connect the cities of Nigeria to the standard gauge network, one can help but wonder how far so far in the Lagos district in actualizing this vision. In Lagos here, there's nothing yet, but the contract has been signed. And of course, you know, that's the first uh, step. This begs the question of what becomes of the present day narrow gauge operations once the standard gauge births in Lagos. The priority right now is for us to move towards the standard gauge. But I don't see us dispensing of the narrow gauge. We could still use it alongside the standard gauge. The train is about to take off and uh, this is an indication that yes, the railway actually works. And you have a DMU. The DMU, it's, 
It's beautiful. It's a 21st century compliant train. As the federal government tackled the challenges of transportation across the country, Nigerians are hopeful that the Nigerian railways will be well positioned to be the number one choice in mass transit in Nigeria. For Dateline 360, this is Tekla Wilkie reporting.